Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. This year, Aaron and I are doing Thanksgiving with just the two of us, so we're gonna be putting together kind of like a smaller Thanksgiving meal today. We didn't wanna cook like a 20 pound turkey for two people. Um, usually for Thanksgiving, if it's just gonna be us, we do a chicken instead of a turkey. So it's like three or 3.30 right now, and we're about to get started cooking. Luckily, cooking a much smaller bird means that it only takes like two hours to cook instead of like five or six hours. However long a turkey takes, I honestly don't really know. So we're gonna get started on that. We dry brined our chicken last night, which means that instead of putting it in salted water, we just spread a tablespoon of salt inside like the skin of the chicken and all over the surface so that the salt can make its way into the meat. And we left it in the fridge uncovered overnight so you can see how the skin has kind of like dried out a little bit and doing this dry brine method should help us to get a really crispy skin and the meat's going to be really flavorful because the salt will have penetrated and it should be really nice and juicy as well so we're just going to stuff some aromatics inside the chicken and we're gonna get baking. So the menu for today's Thanksgiving meal, besides the roast chicken, we're also gonna be doing roasted honey nut squash, which is homegrown. We're gonna do sauteed homegrown green beans, and those are just from the freezer. Then we're going to do stuffing, of course, which is probably my favorite Thanksgiving dish. And then we're gonna do mashed potatoes and gravy and also cranberry sauce. Some of the stuff we prepared ahead of time. So last night we made the cranberry sauce because that's super easy to do ahead of time. And last night I baked a crusty loaf of bread to use for the stuffing and we tore that into pieces and let that dry overnight. So yeah, pretty much everything else we're going to be doing today. But since it's kind of like a smaller quantity of food and we're just sticking to the main sides for Thanksgiving, it's a pretty easy process. I don't feel stressed at all, which is great because I know Thanksgiving cooking can be very stressful if you have a lot of things to cook. I did kind of make like a an oven schedule to make sure that everything can go in the oven and that we have time for everything. Yeah, Thanksgiving for two people is pretty easy. So that definitely makes the day a lot more enjoyable. Hello, Junie. What are you thankful for? What are you thankful for this year? Junie? What are you thankful for? And what are you thankful for? Bibi?
so we are looking really good now. I think pretty much all of the main cooking and prep stuff we have to do is done. Our roasted honey nut squash is out of the oven. We're just gonna reheat this up at the very end. In the oven now, we have our chicken going as well as some garlic that we're roasting for the mashed potatoes. We have all of our potatoes chopped and probably have about 20 minutes before I need to start boiling this. And our stuffing is assembled as well. And this is also gonna go in the oven in about 20 minutes. So all we have to do really later on is make the gravy and saute our green beans. And I also forgot to mention for dessert, we're going to be having these pumpkin cinnamon rolls. These came in the box that Wild Grain sent me a few weeks ago. If you're not familiar, Wild Grain is a service that delivers ready to bake bread and pasta straight to your door. I'll leave a link for them down below if you wanna check it out. And that link will get you $10 off your first box. So I was really excited to see these pumpkin cinnamon rolls because I thought that would make a perfect dessert so that I don't have to make dessert. I'm not really a fan of pie, and I also don't really wanna make like a whole pie for just two people anyway. So these cinnamon rolls are going to be great. There are six of them, and it even comes with a frosting inside, and I think that's gonna be a perfect dessert just to give us a little bit something sweet, but not like overwhelming since we are having a lot of other food. So I'll stick these back in the freezer and we'll bake them later on. So I think we actually have like half an hour to just like relax now and not really do much, so it's nice we didn't really have to spend too much time in the kitchen today and we can still enjoy the day. It was a beautiful day today, it was like 60 degrees. So earlier we just had like a nice slow morning and then we went out and we played some basketball. And yeah, it was a good day. And even though we're not with family today, it's nice to just be able to do something a little bit more cozy and intimate with just the two of us. Later on, we're gonna be putting up our Christmas tree. Yeah, I'm just very thankful for this Thanksgiving that we get to spend together. Hopefully you all have had a good Thanksgiving, whether you're able to spend it with friends and family or even if you're alone. Hopefully you had a good day no matter what you were doing. So our meal's gonna be ready in just a few hours and I'll show you everything once it's all done. Before we move on with our Thanksgiving meal, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are having a Black Friday sale at our Etsy shop on a lot of our artisan cold process soap. So now is a great time to grab a few bars either for yourself or if you want to prepare for the holiday season. The soap gift sets make for really good holiday gifts or you can get single soap bars as stocking stuffers and you don't need a discount code or anything. All of the eligible products are already discounted at our site so you don't need any code. You can just head over to our Etsy shop. I will leave the link in the description box if you want to check that out and thank you for supporting our small business this holiday season and we're done here is our finished thanksgiving feast our beautiful roast chicken that skin looks so nice and crispy got our gravy honey nut squash cranberry sauce the stuffing which i'm so excited for it looks so good our big pot of mashed potatoes, and our green beans. And I just put the cinnamon rolls in the oven, so those will be ready when we finish our dinner. 